hey, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie. Oh, hey, Lou. What's up? Oh, uh, we need to do a show here. Oh, okay. What should we do the topic on? Oh, I know. Mm. What is the length of a perfect nap? I don't know. You interrupted me. <laughs> That's next on Men Are So Smart. So on Wednesday of last week, Twitter user Lady Lou posed a very important question on her account, which was, how long exactly is a nap? Good question. Uh, the thread got enough commentary to become its own Twitter moment, and the responses varied. Boy, these glasses are filthy, Ron. <laughs> Widely, <coughs> some said anywhere between two hours and waking up tomorrow, <laughs> that's me, yeah. counts so long as one declares it a nap. So if you say it's a nap, I say it's a nap. Yeah. Uh, other maintain, others maintain that anything longer than two hours counts as sleep. A poll showed that most users felt that anything between one and two hours is optimal. So... As it turns out, how long the ideal nap is depends on what you, what effect you want it to have. According to sleep experts interviewed by the Wall Street Journal, a 10 to 20 minute nap is best for those who want to boost alertness. All right, A 60 minute nap helps with cognitive memory processing mm -hmm. and therefore might be best for people who are studying for exams, but the downside is it comes with a little bit of grogginess. Okay, let's stop right there for a second. Here's okay. my problem. If I set an alarm to wake up, right. I won't sleep. And oh, then yeah. if I, I set it for things. an hour, then it's like, oh, now it's 50 minutes. Yep. Now it's 40 exactly minutes. Exactly the same thing. It doesn't work with me. No. And the other thing, too, i got to mention is I can't take a five or ten minute nap. Uh, I don't fall asleep for short periods of time. I can't do I knew a girl. Her name is, was Melanie. And I used to do a morning radio show with her. She could sleep anywhere. Yeah. She could sleep in a taxi cab in New York. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> uh, it goes on to say a 90-minute nap helps aid creativity and emotional procedural memory, so it's good for artists, people who are learning a new skill, or those who need to emotionally recharge. The latter also allows you to go through an entire sleep cycle, so it's the least likely, uh, least likely to make you feel groggy upon waking up. Uh, these findings are bolstered by sleep experts who told this reporter that taking a short nap, defined as less than 45 minutes, are best if you need to immediately spring into action once you wake up. To give your alertness an even bigger boost, the author suggests drinking coffee immediately before you start to snooze. Check that out, Ronnie. Mm. Drink coffee before you start to snooze since caffeine requires about 30 minutes to take effect, meaning it will kick in just as you wake up. See, I'm not sure I buy that. I don't drink a lot of caffeine. Mm -hmm. As soon as I drink caffeine, it almost instantly... Wires you? Yeah. Yeah, I, I worry about that too. You know, I, I, I doctors have told me that I need to cut out caffeine in my diet, and you know, I'm a stubborn ass uh, yeah. person. And so I, I work with them, Right. He made suggestions, and I work with him. I, I've conceded Pepsi for Pepsi caffeine-free. Okay. And one cup of coffee a day. That's a good start. Oh, there, one, that's a big cup. One cup. <laughs> see, you can work with your doctor. That's a big cup. Yeah. Um, All right, let's see. Where are we at? Whatever you choose, there's no denying there's an increasing body of research that indicates that taking a nap is really good for you and not a sign of laziness as previously assumed. That's what my dad used to always tell me. A nap? God, you're lazy. <laughs> it's good for me, Dad. A slew of recent studies have shown that naps boost alertness, creativity, mood, and productivity in the latter hours of the day. Napping reduces stress and lowers the risk of heart attack, stroke, diabetes, and excessive weight gain. If you need to take about 10 naps a day then. Yeah, <laughs> it can only be good times 10. <laughs> if you're wondering when the best time to take a nap is, now this is important, listen up. The answer is that it kind of depends on your chronotype. If you're a lark, you'll feel the need for a nap around 1 p.m. If you're a night owl, you'll need one closer to 3 p.m. I will not sleep after 2. 
I sleep, you know what, being mostly retired now, I can be watching TV, looking at my phone, and suddenly I find myself asleep. I don't care what time it is. And I typically only sleep, I don't know, who knows, maybe 15, 20 minutes <sighs> until the dog, one of the dogs jumps on me yeah, or yeah. You know, something or, you know, somebody rings the doorbell or whatever. But I, I'll take my nap whenever. If I'm tired and I'll even, I, I realize when I'm getting tired and I will, I'll just lay my head on my hand and I can fall asleep. Can you fall asleep on a plane? No. No, I can't we do that We were just either. talking about this. Yeah. My daughter got married last week, and we went to a brunch the day after with the wedding party and the family and the bride and groom. Mm -hmm. And Jessica's, my daughter's maid of honor, her husband was there. His name is Tommy, and he's a super great guy. I love him. He's a chef. And he was sitting in the corner. He really didn't know anybody else there very well. Uh, you sitting in the corner, sound asleep. There was music playing. Wow. There was people talking, and he was sawing logs. I can't even imagine that. I don't think I could do that. And plus, sleep in front of thirty people I don't know to scrutinize that you know you're a mouth yeah, breather drooling. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody needs. That. I don't know I could do that. Yeah. So I and when he woke up, I told him I admired him because he was able to sleep through that. He He's, needed it. He says he could sleep in a car. He can sleep on a plane. This is sounding a little bit like a Dr. Zeus it, thing. It does, yeah. <laughs> but he said he can sleep anywhere. It's because he works very hard as a mm -hmm. chef. He works long hours. Uh, well, see, so I can sleep in a car. Tired. I can sleep in a car. Only if I'm driving. Driving. If I'm driving, <laughs> I'm fine. No, we don't. We don't encourage you to do that at home, kids. Okay. All right. So there you go. That wraps up for your health. Roll. <laughs>
is about 100 yards behind. <laughs> Don't shoot him. Yes. <laughs> so we keep heading that direction. We were probably only like three minutes out, but we're getting updates all the time. The bank manager's on his phone as he's kind of following this person. And he says, and it's a female, and she's throwing money down on the ground, which he is then picking up and getting a little bit further behind every time he yeah. stops to pick which up a bill. Which is what she intended, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. But it also is like leaving a trail of breadcrumbs. Yeah, Hans and Gretel. <laughs> so uh, he can't catch up to her. But we drive up. Sure enough, there she is. She's wearing leopard print slippers, which make it kind of tough to run in. So she was walking fast, but not running. She's a fashion barista. So what? we... We pull up on her. She showed no weapon, but in the in the note she mentioned that she had a gun. And so when I at home, yeah, <laughs> uh, and honestly I don't think she did. And so when I get out of the car, ask her to show her, show me her hands. She hands she shows me her hands with a stack of money in one hand, and empty in the other. And I said, do you have a weapon? She said no. I said keep your hands up. I walked up, and I. Put her hands behind her back. Didn't handcuff her yet. I'm holding both hands with one hand, and I'm patting her down. And I'm like, something sticking out of her back pocket. I go, what's what's in your back pocket? She goes, that's my note. And I go, your note. She goes, the note I handed the teller. So she basically has just admitted that she is definitely the one that robbed the bank. Uh, it never even went to court. That's what a slam dunk it is. Um, because of her words? Yeah, because of her words. She And obviously the, the manager followed out of right, the store. Right. So there was a lot of... The best part is she had uh, she lived in an apartment in North Islands. She asked a guy for a ride. Uh -huh. She got in his car. Right. He was in a Jaguar because witnesses said, yeah, she got out of this Jaguar and he stayed parked right here, right by the entrance. When she came out and the bank manager was right behind her running and yelling... He took off. I would too. Because he wanted no part of that. No. And he, plus he saw the money in her hand. Yeah. The teller, when we interviewed the teller, the teller said, I didn't think she knew what she was doing, and so I handed her a big stack of ones. So she probably had about $200 oh, no. <laughs> in $1 bills. Wow. Well. And she's now, I'm sure she's doing, it's, it's federal crime, so I'm sure she's probably doing prison time. Again, I'm aggravated. Aggravated robbery. That's why they call it that. <laughs> if it aggravates me, it's aggravated robbery. And that's how we wrap up another episode of Corbett Ronnie's Crime Beat. So, Ronnie, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yep. Uh, let's see. If you'd like any more information on us or the show, we would love to provide you with that. Uh, you'll find it below in the description of our show and all the ways to contact us and such. We hope that you enjoy our little camaraderie here, our little show we like to call Men Are So Smart. Our website is menaresosmart.com. We tried to get dot freaking com, but we couldn't. It's taken. It wasn't available. Yeah. So, um, in any case, thank you, you to our sponsors. Dot telecom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find a link to all of our sponsors and all of the services and goods that they offer. And last but not least, if you enjoyed the show, give it a like. And if you give it a like, also please give it a subscribe tap. Tap right on the subscribe button. If you subscribe, I promise next week I'll wear pants. I'm going to do that. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. I'll see you. We'll see you. <laughs> well, maybe we won't. <laughs> That's going to be aggravated without pants. <laughs> on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.